something yummy because you know it is summertime and it is hot 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 so we are going to be making a yummy thing with peaches today beautiful peaches are beautiful so we are going to be doing something with peaches today and i will show you i saw this recipe and i thought oh my goodness this one we have got to make on the show with all our buds Alrighty. so we are going to be making a puff pastry peach and brie appetizer i guess it could be an appetizer it could be a side with a yummy green salad um, but i'm going to be serving it as an appetizer um, so i'm going to get started here with our puff pastry since i have discovered puff pastry and how much fun it is to work with i'm actually going to make a couple different kinds with it today so hey mary chris how are you we had so much fun we went to um, Rubele last night for fried chicken night. For those of you that have not been to Rubele in Santa Paula for fried chicken night, you are missing out. Make sure you go. It's delicious. Hey Instagrammers, how are you, you guys? So I'm going to get started here, but the first thing I'm going to do is show you guys this cool thing I saw on Facebook because, you know, everything on Facebook is true, right? <laughs> well, this is a hack I saw that I thought was really, really cool. So I have my colander here. And this is fresh rose, rosemary, it's going in our dish here. And they said, take your colander, put the rosemary on the stem, stick it in the hole, pull it through, and guess what? It gets the rosemary off the stem for you. How cool is that? I thought that was awesome. And it would work for rosemary, thyme, you know, tarragon, anything you're trying to get off the stem. So how cool is that? And then you're left with the part you want in the colander. So I was like, that is the coolest thing. So I have tested it for you here at recipe of the day test kitchen and it worked great. So see, things on Facebook can be true and that is my hack of the day. So hey Kelly and Vivian, um, I'm just gonna chop up this rosemary that we just hacked and got off the stem here. And I am gonna chop it real small because we're making these um, peach, and brie puff pastry tarts. Oh my gosh, it's like a savory, well the peach is sweet, but it's gonna be sweet and savory tart. Oh my goodness. So let me get our rosemary chopped up real fine here, because you know a little bit of rosemary goes a long way, especially on a tart. <laughs> so I'm gonna put that here in my little dish so it's ready to rock and roll here. And then we are going to chiffon on some basil, because I've had people ask me about that. So we are going to chiffon on our basil that's going on our tart. So I've washed my leaves and all we're ready. So here's my basil leaves. So I'm going to lay them out here. I'm going to make a stack. And never cut basil too early than when you're going to use it, because it turns brown. Now you can rip, uh, rip it and it won't turn as brown. But better, just don't slice your basil till you're really ready to use it. So, here we go. Hey, Kelly. Vivian, you guys, let's see. Oh, yes, thank you, my laugh. I didn't know how much people love my laugh <laughs> until the show. So, hey, if I can make you laugh and I can make you smile, we're all winning here. How are you, Alex? Are you watching? Oh, my goodness. Okay, so I just roll it up into a little roll here. All our leaves in a roll, chopped it, and boom. We have chiffonade of basil, ready to use in perfect little strips. Of course, get it all over the, all over the counter too. Oh my gosh, it smells so good because I've got fresh rosemary on the board here and basil, yum! So I've got brie, and then of course, I had to get my favorite cheese just because it was there. What is your favorite cheese? My absolute all-time favorite, favorite cheese is this one. This uh, Cambozola. It's like blue cheese, but brie. It's brie and blue cheese. Got married and had a baby, and it was this. And it is oh, the best. So I had to get some of that, too, because I thought I'd make so, uh, some of these with that. Okay, so my puff pastry, I have it thawed out. And I didn't roll it out and, uh, anymore. I just took it how it comes from the package. Um, it comes in a package like this, frozen, pulled it out, and let it just um, thaw so you can unroll it so it doesn't break. So I'm going to take this off my paper towel here, hopefully. 
Yes. Got my seams. Okay. We're good. Ah! It's so hot here. It hit 80 d d uh, degrees, so of course we're all compl complaining because that's very hot here. We actually turned on our air conditioning today for the first time. Um, so I'm going to take my puff pastry and I'm going to cut it here into, I'm going to make them, I'm going to cut it in half and I'm cutting it in half again because I'm going to make these bite size. I'm going to make them appetizer size. If you were going to serve this as a side dish or even as a main for lunch, you'd make these a little larger, but I'm going to make them just little bite size because again, I'm making them for appetizers. So here, I, this is going to be 16 little bites. Okay, and then in addition to that, just because I wanted to experiment, puff pastry also comes like this. It comes like shells that you can easily fill with whatever you like. So I also got some shells out because, you know, I'm playing here in the heat. And they look like this when they're frozen, flat and frozen little shells. And we're, I'm just going to make a couple sample ones for you here. Let me grab my cookie sheet so I can show you what I'm up to. Parchment paper, of course. Always line your um, cookie sheet with parchment paper, really no matter what you're making. <laughs> and I'm going to assemble here. So on my puff pastry, you know, I'm going to move this so you guys can see. I'm going to do it like this. Hold on. Hold on. And put this right in front of me. And move this and move this so maybe you guys can see. Okay. So on my puff pastry here, I'm going to start and I'm going to do, oh, back here while I was waiting for you, forgot to step here, I have caramelized some shallots. So a shallot is uh, the cousin of garlic. It's actually not even an onion, but it has a mild onion taste and they come kind of like a garlic with a skin around them and you peel them and then I sliced them into circles like this. You should see what shape I diced them and then um, caramelized them in the pan. And when they got a little bit cooked with a little bit of olive oil and the shallots, then I put two tablespoons of apple cider vin uh, vi uh, vinegar in the shallots and let them cook down. So this is what I'm starting with on my puff uh, pastry here. Probably shouldn't use my fingers when I'm on camera. Oh, and there's my sister's on. My sister is driving through the south, passing all the peach stands. I told her I was making something peach today. She's like, oh, we're driving by all the peach stands in the south. Because Parker's been at a golf tournament this week in North Carolina, South Carolina area. Um, hey, Wendy, how are you? Welcome. So on our puff pastry here, I have put a little bit of our um, caramelized shallot. And then I'm going to go with a little bit of, um, I'm going to start with the cheese next. I think I just made one of these. I have it in order here. So onto my um, shallot, I'm going to put a piece of brie because who doesn't love brie? So a piece of brie going on. And a little bit of my basil that we just chopped the basil going on. Oh, yum. And then on top of the basil, I'm gonna put a couple of my beautiful peach slices here and put this on top. Oh, yum. Look at that. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna press it down a little bit so it'll adhere some. What? And then on top of that, I'm going to put a little bit of olive oil. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Yum. And then I am going to put a little bit of salt and pepper on top of that. Just a tad bit of salt. It's like the time when you had the little bowl of salt. You, know, you could just sprinkle it on. But I'm doing it with the, with the, with the grinders here. Okay, so that is it on our um, little pastry, and then I'm going to make some littler ones. Here, I'll make one to show you how I would do these on the puff pastry. So on the pastry, lay it flat, you guys see. We're going to start again with our caramelized shallot. A little bit of those, a little bite size on there. And then put our cheese, brie, yumminess on here. And then a little bit of basil. Oh my goodness, are these going to be yummy or what? You can see why this recipe looks killer. I'm going to cut this peach. He's going to be sticking out of our little bundle. And I'm going to roll the edges up just a tiny bit to keep our cheese in place. And then 
drizzle it with a little olive oil, a little salt and pepper. And then we will do a little bit of egg wash around the edge so it gets nice and golden brown. One thing about puff pastry when you're using it, you want to do um, a little bit of egg wash and that's just a beaten egg um, to get help it get nice and golden brown. So there's my little appetizer size, bite size, little sample, and then my puff pastry sample, mostly because I was just curious and wanted to see what would happen. Hey Deborah, how are you? And I'm going to brush this on the edges here with a little bit of egg, just this just one beaten egg to help it get nice and golden brown. And then boom, I'm going to put that in the oven for 15 minutes or so until it puffs up and gets nice and golden brown. And then we will show you what we come up with here. Because guess what? With the magic of TV, guess what I have? I have one of these darling little things all cooked and ready to go. How cute is that? I know, I just thought it was so cute. So to finish these, I'm going to take, move my peach here. Hold on, I'm going to get another little. Uh, little dish, hold on, little dish, and in my little dish, I'm going to put some honey, put some honey in there, uh, a couple of tablespoons, and I'm going to put some fresh black pepper in the honey, a few turns of my shaker here, and then I'm going to take the rosemary that we just chopped with our very cool hack, put a little rosemary in the honey. Oh my gosh, smells so yummy, 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 yummy. And then stir up our pepper, rosemary, honey. And I am gonna finish this beautiful thing with this flavored honey. So yum, look at that. Oh my gosh, how yummy does that look? And easy, because you could prep these ahead of time for a party and then stick them back in the fridge and then when you were ready to cook them, you know, right before your guests get there or when your first guests get there and you're fixing cocktails, you can put this in the, uh, in the oven for 15 mi minutes and boom, these yummy, beautiful things come out and they were easy. So let's taste one of these, my crew and I, and we will let you know, oh my gosh, how yummy this little creation. I mean, come on, puff pastry and brie. We could have stopped right there, right? <laughs> so here we go, crew. Uh-oh, I'm making a total mess of that. Hold on a second. That was good. Okay, he's gonna taste that piece. I will taste this piece. Wow. We got two thumbs up from the crew. Oh my gosh, that's delicious. And that would be so good um, as a side with a salad too, just as the main kind of for a brunch or for a lunch. Really yummy. Again, the, the honey just makes that. So another thing that when your kids are home, this puff pastry is so much fun to work with. So I highly recommend it easy. That if you've got kids at home and you're trying to find something new, to do to entertain them, whip out the puff pastry and let your hearts and imaginations run wild. Um, so today, we have a whole bunch of birthday shout outs. Um, August is a very popular time to have a birthday. So I have a bunch. So let me get my birthday shout out hat here. Birthday shout outs today. Um, yesterday's birthdays, we had Robin Satnick, happy birthday, and Monica York, happy birthday to you, dear, and Tom Ferry, it's his birthday, I'm sure he's doing something very, very fun, it looked like he was playing golf, so that is fun, and then tomorrow, we have Michelle Uhlenhofer, happy birthday to you, dear friend, and then um, John Grantham, long, long time friend, happy birthday to you, sir, and Jay Barker, happy birthday to you, who was pregnant with number three, oh my gosh, I can't believe it, you go, girl. Um, and a very special friend's birthday tomorrow who we will miss tremendously. We have a very dear friend. It's her birthday tomorrow too or would have been. So much love to her too. 
So happy birthday to everyone for this week. We have several too for the Saturday show because August, like I said, is so popular. So in light of the August Leo birthdays, there's been so many this month, our giveaway today, if you've liked or commented on these videos and they're here on Facebook, they're on Instagram, and they're also on our YouTube channel, Ventura Real Estate, you are in the pool. So today's drawing, look at how cute these are. They're these happy birthday candles that you put on the cake and it spells them out. Of course, I don't know, I guess you're not allowed to blow them out on the cake uh, anymore, so maybe someone's up to an event like a fan. You know, you can fan them. <laughs> anyway, cute happy birthday candles for our giveaway today. So let's see who our lucky winners are today. Maybe it's some of these August birthdays. Hey, Wendy, how are you? Oh my gosh, Wendy, how are you? I swear, I want to see my friends. Kathy Hagman, it's a winner, winner. Win the birthday candle. She has so many darling grandkids. Perfect. She can use those. The kids will love those. And then, do, 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 we have our winner, Deb Short. Deb Short, you're my winner today. So we will see you to give you your happy birthday candles. So remember, there's only two things you can control, your effort and your attitude. So always pick a good one and always do your best. And I am looking forward to seeing everyone here on Wednesdays and Saturdays at 3 o'clock. You can visit us at GaryAndLisa.com. And you can find these videos on Ventura Real Estate. I will post the recipes there and also here on Facebook. So thanks for watching. We will see you again on Saturday. And hope you're enjoying this awesome tropical weather we are having here at the beach this week. Oh my goodness. So all our love from our family to yours. We will talk to you soon.